Now let us solve some problem related to ordinary annuity. <clears throat> and to solve some problem related to ordinary annuity, you need to know two important formula. The first one is known as present value formula and second one is the future value formula. Present value, I said, present value is the amount of any kind of loan. So we need present value formula if your problem is related to amortization or loan or debt or borrow because present value is the amount of amortization loan debt and borrow and we need future value formula because future value is the amount of any kind of fund sinking fund so present value is equal present value is equal present value of annuity is equal a by i 1 minus 1 by 1 plus i all to the power n and future value is equal a by i into 1 plus i all to the power n minus 1. Now you need to find a technique to remember this formula by yourself. And let me say the meaning of the notations in this formula. Here PV indicates present value of annuity and FP indicates future value of annuity, which is related to the fund and this one is related to the loan or amortization. And here A is the payment of each installment and I is the interest rate N is the number of installments. Note that note importantly that n is the number of installments number of installments and when your uh, interest is calculated once in a year then this formula is okay this formula is for the yearly case when interest is compounded yearly however when interest is compounded for example semi-annually then you should replace i by j by m where j is the nominal rate the rate which is given in your question and n is the number of conversions per year so, or number of compounding periods per year in the semi-annual case m equal to 2 in the in the monthly case m equal to 12 in the quarterly case m equal to 4 and again n is the number of installments so n will be when your annuity will continue for example let's say 5 years then n will be 5m n will be equal to 5m when your annuity will continue for example 3 years then n will be 3m because Num m is the number of conversions per year so i think we understand this formula note importantly that a is the payment of each installment but n is the number of installments in this case and i equal to j by m uh, when interest is compounded more than once in a year j is the nominal rate per year and m is the number of conversions per year now let us uh, try to understand some problems related to future value formula or related to sinking fund so let us read the question first how much should be deposited in a sinking fund at the end of each quarter for five years to accumulate ten thousand dollars so this is your future value because future value is the amount of any kind of fund and since at payments are made at the end therefore it is ordinary annuity and uh, j is the nominal rate which is eight percent here since interest compounded quarterly so m equal to four 
and uh, n will continue for five years therefore n will be number of installments there are four installments in a year so the total number of installments will be 5m which is equal 5 into 4 which is equal 20 so you are given these informations and now you can calculate how much should be deposited in a sinking fund it means you need to calculate a small a a small a is the payment of each installment so in this formula we can now put fb equal 10000 i equal j by m which is 8 percent by 4 0.08 by 4 which is 0 0.02 this is i 1 plus 0 0.02 whole to the power n and n equal to 20 minus 1 but after simplification you will get your a so that will be 411.61 dollar the payment of each installment is 411.61 dollar sometimes your question can tell you to calculate total payments to get ten thousand dollar after five years so you you need ten thousand dollar after five years your total payment will be it must be smaller than this amount so this is your one installment if you multiply this amount by the total number of installment 20 then you will get total payment that will be eight thousand to thirty two dollars uh, let us read this question a company wants to accumulate hundred thousand dollar to purchase replacement machinery eight years from now to accomplish this semi equal semi annual payments are made to a fund that earns seven percent compounded semi annually find the amount of each installment so the problem is exactly same you need to find a small a m equal to two and j equal seven percent future value is given which is hundred thousand dollar and what else n equal number of installments that will be 8m that will be 8 into 2 which is 16 so these informations you are given now you can easily calculate a small a like before by using your calculator and now let us read this problem greg has hundred dollar deducted from his salary at the end of each month and invested in a employees fund that because of company contributions pays 12 percent compounded monthly so m equal to 12 and j equal 12 percent uh salary this amount deducted so this is your small a hundred dollar is small a since hundred dollar is deducted each month how much will greg's account amount to so it means you need to calculate future value how much will Greg's account amount to when he retired three years from now? Number of installments will be 3M and 3 into 12, which is 36. Three years from now after receiving his last salary check. So we understand the problem and we can solve the problem by using future value formula and you need to calculate future value what amount should be deposited at the end so you need to calculate a small a at the end therefore it is ordered in annuity each quarter therefore m equal to 4 in a sinking fund earning 8 percent compounded quarterly j equal 8 percent 
uh, if the amount in the fund after four years so n equal to four into four which is 16 to be this this is the future value so by using the same formula you can easily calculate small a like before what we did and let us uh, read this question what amount should be deposited this is like exactly same uh, it's six month period so m equal to two since it is semi-annually in a sinking fund earning six percent compounded semi-annually so j equal to six percent if the amount in the fund after 15 years n equal to 15 m it will be 30 amount to this this is the view survey so the same problem you can solve this problem by yourself uh, question 9 new venture corporation has de decided to transfer a sum of money to a reserve amount at the end of each year so at the end therefore this is ordinary annuity each year to accumulate so this is yearly formula yearly case to accumulate this this is the future value to be used to replace machinery 10 years from now so n equal to 10 how much should be transferred how much should be transferred each year if the interest at 8% compound annually if credited to the reserve so I think you can solve this problem by yourself it is exactly the same and let me read this one in order to accumulate this so this is the future value for a down payment on a house or on a home eight years from now and same annually case therefore n will be 16 8 m the Joneses are going to deposit a sum of money at the end of each six month period in a account earning eight percent they equal eight percent compounded semi annually so m will be two since semi annually m will be two what amount should be deposited what should be the amount of each deposit so you need to calculate small a it is same you can try by yourself to get this result so these are the problems related to future value formula and i want to stop this lecture here next lecture i will discuss uh, annuity again in order to understand some problems which is related to loan it means present value formula thank you very much